Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Do any of you remember when I did that Christmas survival challenge and I built that fort? Well, in today's video, I'm going to go fix it up, bring things there, and make it a cool hunting cabin. Like a cool little place where I can scan all my squirrels or maybe even a deer if I get one there this year. But, yeah. So, here I have a frog gig that I bought. I actually have three of them. I've never told you about them, but I've showed them in one of my videos. But here it is, a frog gig. And it's just a stick that you can get frogs with. But, I'm going to add something else to the other side, which is a knife. I actually broke this at the fort with my friend Elijah. So I'm just going to cut, um, tape it with electrical tape and yeah, maybe it can be like a spear or a one prong frog gig or something, but I'm also going to add other things to the fort and maybe even make more things to bring there. Okay, so I'm back with the electrical tape, but unfortunately it's been outside for a long time and it's the middle of winter in Minnesota, so... It's frozen. So we have to let it thaw out. But while we let it thaw out, I have this box full of things. I'm going to dump it out like this. And uh, I'm going to put stuff in it that I can bring to the fort. Well, that's all that I'm going to put in there. Now let's show you what is in there in a quick, quick glance. Alright, so here is the box. When I open it up, it has the all toy bin, the uh, BBs, the knives. Yeah. Pretty good in there. I think that will be all I need. Now, I think the uh, electric electrical tape is unfrozen now let's tape the knife to the stick here's the final product I'm gonna move the camera back alright so here's the final product here's the spear knife thing that I taped pretty cool I don't think it'll stay on that long but if I be careful with it, I think it should. And then here we have the frog gig on the other side. So now it's a huge survival stick. I'm going to trademark it now. And it's also a, um, a baton or whatever it is. Yeah. Guys. I think, I think there's a problem with this stick. So I was thinking, when I'm frog gigging, I'm going to frog gig, I'm going to bring it down and up. And then the knife is going to be pointed at my head. So that might not be very safe. So um, I'm going to cut this right here. So with the handle, you know what I mean? So, yeah. So I got done cutting it. Here's the final product. There we go, that's better. It is a cool knife. Okay, I believe we have everything ready to go to the fort. Now, let's go. Okay guys, we made it to the fort. Here it is. 
I'm gonna show you a quick little tour of it before we start adding on to it. So here it is. Inside it's pretty nice. It's pretty spacious in here. I've got like some flooring getting worked on there. And then we have our trident sitting there. Over here is our soon to be sitting area outside. It's supposed to be a bench or something. Something we can eat food at or just sit here and do something. But now I'm going to add on to the fort a little bit and put some more sticks on and stuff. Okay, so the next step I want to do is shovel out all that snow inside the fort because it's like there's a lot of snow in it and I, I would like it just to have dirt on it. So when it's springtime, it's not so muddy in there. Okay, so I'm done shoveling. Now it's time to put the things that I brought into the fort. And I'm also gonna try to make a way to hide them so people don't like find them and steal them since it's public land here. And just find a good place that they are kept a secret. Pokey. Yeah. What are these plants called? If you know what they are. Um, write that in the comments because there's a lot of them over here. They look like little pine trees. Maybe they are little pine trees. <laughs> so I'm going to strategically place these things of brush to hide the whereabouts of my box. My secret treasure chest. Alright, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to put some snow on it to make it a little bit more interesting. There we go. All right, the next objective is to set out a squirrel trap in the area. And just to see if this is a good squirrel hunting or trapping spot, I haven't really seen so many squirrels see, but here I've seen a couple. But maybe I'm gonna place them down over there behind some trees or something. So I'm sitting this trap out. I haven't really been out here before, this part of the woods. So I'm hoping that this would be a good or, um, squirrel area. But there's also a lot of mouse traps, so maybe it'd be cool to catch a mouse. See, like, that's a mouse trap. 
tracks right there. So yeah. Okay, so I got done setting the trap. Now I'm gonna set my trail camera that I brung. I just saw some coyote tracks when I was setting up the um, trap. So I'm gonna set it up over there. It looks like a pretty heavily used trail and pretty recent too. So I'm gonna go set it up over there. Alright guys, so I was just walking in the woods and guess what I found? It's just a random birdhouse just laying on the floor. So I'm gonna bring it to the fort and use it as a table. Oh, this is cool. Alright, here is the grand finale of today's fort. Here's the birdhouse that I turned into a table. It's really cool. I'm glad I found it because I can like skin things or eat things out of here and then I could put my trash in there or something. That's pretty cool. And then there's more wood around. Yeah, this has been a really productive day. Yeah. And now it's it for today's video because that's all I know what to do for right now. I'm planning on making an entire series for this for across the year. like during the summer, buying more things, adding on to it, sh hunting in it, all sorts of things. So stay in tune for that throughout the year. But uh, yeah, bye.